We are going to join one of, another one of our New York affiliates, WABC, for their live coverage. And then all of a sudden, I, I saw the sound kind of loud, um, louder, then I looked up, and all of a sudden it smashed right dead into the center of the World Trade Center. Uh, big, uh, big flash of flame, uh, fire coming out from all over, then the, all the, um, the bricks, the huge hole right now. Um, it almost like the plane probably went through, I'm not sure. Winston, can you see, are you on the north side there where the, the plane made uh, contact? Yes, I am. Now, when you say a huge hole, uh, one of our earlier witnesses, uh -huh. Libby Clark, said, not much of the plane came down off the building. Much no, of it went right into the building. It's in the building, that, from what you can see. Right. Now, yeah. can you see if there's a lot of debris downstairs, Winston? Um, no, because it looked like it, it inverted. With the impact, everything went inside the building. Inside. Um, the only thing that came out was a little bit of the, um, the outside awning. But I'd say the huge, the hole is, let me just get a better look right now. Okay, go ahead. The, um, I'd say the hole takes about... Looks like six, seven floors were taken out. And there's more oh, explosions oh, right now. Hold on, people are running. Wait, so hold, hold on. on just a moment. We've got an explosion inside. The building's exploding right now. you got people running up the street. Okay. Hold on, tell us what's going on. Okay, just uh, put, put Winston on pause there for just a moment. Okay, while the whole building just exploded some more. The whole top part. Okay. The still intact. People are running up the street. Uh, am the, I still connected? Winston, this would support probably what Libby and you both said, that perhaps the fuselage was in the building that would cause a second explosion such as that. Well, that's what just happened then. That would that certainly... Yeah, people are um, I, we're getting word that perhaps... Okay, hold on. The, the people here are... Everybody's panicking. All right, but Winston, you know, Winston, let me put Winston on hold for just a moment. Okay, I don't know how much longer he's staying. I'm inside of a diner right now. Well, Winston, you know what? If you could give us a call back, I just don't want to panic here on the air. Let's just uh, take some of our pictures from News Chopper 7. Now, one of our producers said perhaps a second plane was involved, and let's not, let's not even speculate to that point, but at least put it out there that perhaps that may have happened. Uh, the second explosion would certainly back the theory from a couple of eyewitnesses that the plane fuselage perhaps stayed in those upper buildings. Now, if you look at the second building, there are two that both Twin Towers now are on fire. Now, this was not the case, am I correct? A couple of moments ago. This is the second Twin Tower now on fire. And we're going to check on the second flight if perhaps that had happened. This all began at about 8.48 this morning. Again, what we know in case you're just joining us, a small plane, not a Cessna type or five or six seater, but instead perhaps a passenger flight ran into the north side of the World Trade Center. As you can see, the, the second explosion that you're looking at now in the second Twin Tower it has spread much debris, much more debris than the first explosion or the first accident. Uh, if there is, if, is Winston still on the line with us? 